Right. Now the whole point of setting up a staff room is for your administrators. So first thing we need to do is hire some administrators. To hire administrators, go into the staffing tab. Obviously we have no staff of any variety right now. And to hire people, you need to switch to the applicants screen. Now it's worth talking about how to hire staff in general. And I have covered this in one of my Let's Plays, but I'll cover it again as part of the tutorial. Staff have different skill ratings, and they have different costs. If we look just at administrators by filtering, we can see that this person costs $28 an hour, um, this one costs 19 and a half, seven and a half, and so on. Now at this point in time, there is a bug in the game where the skill of administrators is completely irrelevant, but I'm going to work on the assumption that's going to get patched out at some point. You can try to estimate and say, well, this person and this person have approximately the same skill. This one's a whole 30 cents cheaper per hour. Let's hire that one. But honestly, you're going to be making so much money that trying to scrimp and save on your administrators or indeed any other staff is a complete waste of time. So what I like to do is hire only the highest skilled people. And you can filter them with this skill filter. Now if I were to leave that there, you'd probably see no more staff turn up of this variety. If I just show you quickly, at the moment there are 8 applicants for administrators. There are 4 applicants for executives, 8 for janitors, no passenger service agents, no ramp agents, okay. Most of these things we just simply cannot get at the moment because we're too early in the game. But what I'm trying to show you is that there is eight. There's only ever eight applicants for any role other than executives. Executives you can have, I think, two of each type. In order to get high quality administrators, we need to reject the low quality ones. So put the filter down a bit, reject all these, leave the game on fast mode, keep rejecting any low ones that turn up, And when you're ready, pump that back to the top and scroll up. You can see that we've got a high quality person here. Now I haven't left this running long enough to really demonstrate the fact, but if you just keep rejecting all the low quality ones for a few minutes, you'll end up with eight high quality staff members of that given type available to hire all at once. Okay, it's not triggering right now, but you get the idea. If you want to see it in full demonstration, go and check my Let's Play. So, the reason we're hiring administrators is to go to the Operations tab and look at our research and development projects. At the moment it says we have three available administrators. That's three people I hired. Um, we can click here to start a new project and it's telling us we should pick the commercial license project so we'll do that and we'll start the project it takes us back to this screen and at the moment no one's doing that task I have to assign at least two staff and by staff I mean administrators and you can see it's ticking up now whether it's due to the bug that I mentioned earlier or not, I'm not sure, but at this point in time, assigning extra administrators doesn't actually achieve anything. In theory, putting all five of the maximum administrators on this project would make it go faster than just having the minimum of two. But as I say, there's some sort of bug that's not actually taking effect. I'm just reading the little tutorial step here. Make sure all admins has an office desk to work on. We'll leave the quality of the English unspoken. 
they don't need a disc. They don't even need to be in the airport. <laughs> I did a whole test series at one point and uh, discovered that administrators can do all the research while you don't even have a terminal building. You can start your game at the very beginning, go straight into hiring people, pick your staff, go straight into operations, pick a project, assign people to it. You could, in theory, complete all of the research projects prior to ever building an airport. I don't know why you would, because honestly, if you're going to do that, you may as well just switch on sandbox mode and just start with all of them researched anyway. Hey, it's a thing you could do if you choose to. On to our next task. <laughs>